What's up guys? Welcome back to Aaron Sports Cards. Today I'm going to share with you a bunch of recent pickups that I have accumulated over the last couple months. I don't always open every pack on video, so there's a bunch of packs that I opened up down at my local LCS, and I've got a bunch of cool pulls that I wanted to share with you guys, do some sort of recap, and uh, show you what I haven't shown on video quite yet. So let's just go ahead and in no particular order, start showing you some of this cool stuff that I've gotten the last couple months. All right, so first up, pull this really cool Luis Robert Spanning the Globe card out of 2020 uh, Bowman. Really cool card. One of the hottest prospects coming up right now for the uh, Chicago White Sox. Also got this really nice uh, throwback. It should be a rookie card. For some reason, they didn't put the uh, RC logo on there. But that's a really nice looking card there. I've got a few of these, uh, well, more than a few. Quite a few of these Luis Robert uh, base rookie cards, paper from the 2020 Bowman. Looks like I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of those. Might try and figure out some kind of giveaway with some of these hot prospects and rookies from the Bowman set. Uh, I've accumulated quite a few of those. I only got a couple of these prospect cards. I guess it turns out these are a little bit harder to pull than the actual rookie cards. And here I've got some more Luis Roberts. This one's out of Gypsy Queen. That's just the base rookie card there. I also pulled a, um, another version of this card, which was the Logo Swap, which is actually out with SGC right now. I'm still waiting on the return from them. It's been about 46 business days and uh, I'm still waiting. So I check the website daily, see if there's any updates and it all it says is uh, processing. So I guess I'm just gonna have to uh, sit calm and wait for those. Really excited to get those back. And then I've also got here uh, one, two, three, four of the uh, base rookie cards out of 2020 Tops Series 2. Uh, some of these are in better condition than others. So I think like two out of the four might be grading candidates. And now, uh, this guy has actually been playing really well recently. Um, Hits for power. I think he had three home runs in the intra-squad games that they've been playing. So I'm looking forward to see how he performs during the regular season, even though it's a shortened season. And here's some Jordan Alvarez cards. I've got this rookie favorites. And then I've also got some of these base cards from 2020 Bowman. Not too bad. You know, those cards aren't very valuable right now, but you never know, you know. If you get them graded or something like that, and then, uh, you know, the player performs really well, they might end up uh, being valuable in the future. And moving right along to Bo Bichette. I've got this really nice rookie favorites Bo Bichette chrome card. And then I've got a bunch of these rookie cards, the paper version. I don't even think there is an actual chrome version of these. So let's see, I got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. Got some of these Gavin Lux rookies. One, two, 
three, four of those. I got the top 100 prospect card, the Bowman Scouts. Uh, this one's number five. Gavin Lux, really nice card there. As well as the uh, base rookie card. Uh, I'm not sure why I didn't send this into PSA with our group submission. But I'll have to look it over and see if this one's uh, in decent enough shape to send off in the future. Alright, so there's, there's that stack. Next up, I actually pulled this out of the cuts. I remember purchasing this card uh, a while ago. Probably like 2018, I think I bought this. For about four bucks. And from what I've been seeing from them in the uh, spring... Uh, the the spring training camp or whatever they're calling it um, man he's been performing really well so pretty excited to see this guy uh, during the season as I said before pull this uh, paper auto I think this was out of a blaster box Colin Barber not the biggest name but uh, it's an auto so that was pretty cool got this Purple Refractor of Nick Allen. Number to 250 for the A's. That's pretty cool. Um, my buddy and uh, also owner of my local card shop, Bobby, ended up giving me this really cool uh, 1970 Rookie Stars double rookie card with Thurman Munson and Dave McDonald. So pretty stoked on that. Isn't in the in the greatest condition. Got a couple of dinged up corners and stuff like that. But hey, it's a Thurman Munson rookie. Can't go wrong there. Uh, also found a couple of these uh, in one of the boxes he had from some old uh, 80s and 90s cards. So pulled these guys out. They're not too very too valuable, but they're pretty cool looking cards and. I like those uh, obscure cards that you don't see every day. So I was pretty happy to pick these up. Take a look at the back here. So there's those. Got this Juan Soto with a throwback Bowman design. It's a cool card. Really like these uh, variations. Pulled this Will Smith on card autograph out of the uh, 2020 Gypsy Queen. Pretty nice hit. And I've recently picked up this uh, 1969 Tops Pete Rose in a VG Excellent 4. Pretty cool. I think this is his second year, right? Yeah. Pretty sure that's a second year card. Awesome card. I pulled this Tim Lincecum manufactured uh, medallion 2006 draft number 10 pick. Not a very big Giants fan, but uh, I have a bunch of friends who are. So this is a pretty cool one. It's not numbered or anything. It's always kind of a bummer when you get the manufactured relic rather than an actual piece of the jersey or a patch or an autograph. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, pulled this Elvis Luciano gold card, number to 2020. Another gold of Isaiah Kiner Falafa. Got this autographed. Uh, wave refractor card from uh, 2020 Panini Prism Logan Webb pitcher rookie pitcher for the uh, Giants that one's numbered at 75 pretty cool got this Baron Laura first Bowman Chrome card not too bad Anthony Volpe Here we have another Gavin Lux rookie. Top Series 1. Jordan Alvarez. 
Good hit there. I believe this insert uh, must be like a photo variation or a SP or something because it was flipped around in the pack. Uh, which at first led me to believe that it was going to be an autograph or something like that. But um, when I found out it was just one of these Warriors of the Diamond, I was kind of confused why it was flipped around. But my only guess is that it, it might be like a, a short print version of this card. So I'll have to check into that further. And now uh, here's some cool Jason Dominguez cards that I've pulled recently. Got this Spanning the Globe. And then we've got the uh, top 100 Bowman Scouts. Nice looking card there. We've got a chrome version. First Bowman, Jason Dominguez. Got a few of the papers here. Pretty nice. His cards are just taking off like crazy. Especially the sapphire stuff. I'd love to open some of that, but it's just way too expensive. Okay. Moving right along. Got this Fernando Tatis. From Bowman's Best. Rookie card. Really nice. Not numbered. Got a few of these Bobby Witt Jr. paper first Bowman's here. Pretty cool. Jordan Alvarez, rookie card from 2020 Prism. Got this AJ Puck. Not sure what that um, type of... I can't remember what this uh, design is actually called. But it's a pretty stunning looking card. So, And AJ Puck is like one of the big up and coming rookie pitchers for the A's, so look forward to see what he's going to do. Got this speckle card of Shirt and Apostle. That one's numbered to uh, 299 We've also got this, uh, this sticker auto of Trent Grisham from the Padres, rookie card from 2020 Prism. Got a base Bowman Chrome card, first Bowman of John Diaz, and an Adley Rutschman prospect card, Chrome. Okay. And oh, these are pretty cool. Got a couple of these, uh, sent these off to the man himself, and got them back within like four days. And they've got a really, really beautiful looking handwriting and signature there. So I was stoked to get these back so quickly. I have an older gentleman that hangs out down at the card shop named Willie. He's a local uh, local legend and uh, he really likes these chicken cards. He's always looking for the chicken cards. So I thought it'd be a nice thing to do is to send, one, uh, send some of these off. And then I ended up ho hooking him up with one of the nicer ones. And... Uh, he was really happy about it, so I was stoked to have uh, made that happen. So there's those. I pulled this out. I, I ended up getting one of those uh, Bowman Mega Boxes and got some of those Mojo cards. This was the numbered one uh, to 150. Justin Dunn rookie card. Here I pulled a Yu Chang. Uh, rookie card relic auto combo from Panini Select. Sent these off to Harold Baines. TTM. Really nice. Uh, first card was free, and the rest are five, or I think it was either five, five dollars each, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, you get three autographs. For uh, 10 bucks, not too bad. So I got this is the 84 Donruss, that's the 85 Tops, and this is the 83 Tops. So those came out really nice looking. So I'm stoked on those. I got this Wander Franco, 
Bowman Parallel, really awesome looking card. Like how the clouds are behind him and everything. That's a really cool photo. Really enjoy that one. I was pretty stoked on this one. I pulled this out of Prism. Manny Machado. Didn't own any of his autographs prior to this rip. Uh, so I was pretty happy when I pulled this one out. Here's a Jonathan India. Bowman Chrome. Uh, parallel number to 250. Got this Domingo Leyba rookie card, black. This is a pretty nice pull. Number to 69. I think that, that one was out of uh, Top Series 2. And I think also it, this was in the same pack. This Stars and Stripes uh, Victor Robles rookie cup. Pretty surprised to see that he still has a rookie cup uh, all these years later. But, um, hey, I don't know. Maybe it was a mess up by Tops. This one's numbered to 76. Here we got a Dylan Cease. Blue rookie, uh, not rookie card, uh, sticker autograph. Oh, that is a rookie card. I'm sorry. From the 2020 Prism. Kevin Newman on card autograph from Gypsy Queen. Got this really nice... Panini Prism Gavin Lux rookie card. This pretty cool Adley Rutschman insert from Prism 2020. Uh, this pretty cool Jacob deGrom. I, I don't know what they would call this type of design. But this one's numbered to 50. It's a nice looking card. Pulled this out of a pack. Andrew Kneiser on card auto out of 20, uh, 2020 Top Series 2. Grant Little, number to 99. On card autograph, uh, Bowman Chrome Green. This is an awesome one. Mark Grace, first baseman from the... Uh, Chicago Cubs was a really great player back in the 80s, late 80s. Not a Hall of Famer, but uh, had a really good career. And this one's numbered to 199. Okay, so this next stack is actually uh, some cards. I ended up going to, to get a bunch of... I had to clear out a storage unit I had for years down in Southern California. And uh, ended up finding... Some cool cards from when I was a kid. There was a whole box of all kinds of different cards that I'd kept. A lot of them, you know, ended up not really being that great as everyone had expected them to be. But here's a pretty cool little stack I put together of some of the better cards uh, from the collection. And here we have a Dave Javecki rookie card. Mark Grace, rated rookie. Don Russ, 88. Uh, 87 Mark McGuire, Tops rookie. Really classic, iconic card, part of the uh, Tops Project 2020. Got this Daryl Strawberry rookie. Got a couple dinged corners, unfortunately, but still a really, really cool looking card. I've always loved that card. Got this Sammy Sosa Fleer rookie. Not a bad one. Kirby Puckett. 85 tops rookie really love that one got this cool uh bowman's best cal ripkin jr card can't remember what year this is from maybe 97 98 oh and i was really stoked to have found this one this this was always one of my favorite error cards growing up and this is the original uh 1989 Fleer Billy Rifkin If you look at the bottom of the barrel at the bottom of the bat there it says someone had written fuck face on the bottom of his uh <laughs> his bat and it was which later discovered they ended up reprinting the cards with like a little black box over that I think there was a, a couple different 
variations of the way of them covering it up but this is the rare one to get so i'm really happy i pulled that out of the cuts and then here we have this pretty cool upper deck uh hologram styled michael jordan i looked it up it's not really too valuable but you know still a pretty cool card michael jordan number one draft pick daryl strawberry from 1985 tops I got this really cool uh, 1973 Billy Williams Tops card. Pretty decent shape. A couple Greg Jeffries Future Stars. Not too bad. For some reason, uh, since all these 80s cards have started, people have started to uh, drive the prices up on the even players like Greg Jeffries are now seeing uh, <laughs> an increase in the value of their cards. I got a couple of these Frank Thomas number one round picks, 1990 score. Those are pretty awesome. Uh, I got this Eric Davis rookie, 85 tops. Dale Murphy, second year from 1980 tops. And it's Emmett Smith rookie from 91 score. So that's it for the. Oh, wait, here's some more right here. Uh, here I got this Mother's Cookie card of Tim Salmon and Mike Piazza. Daryl Strawberry, Ken Griffey Jr., Frank Thomas, Topps Bazooka card, Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens, Will Clark rookie, John Olerud. Greg Jeffries, Rated Rookie, Nolan Ryan, Mother's Cookie Card, Ruben Sierra, Rookie, Ellis Burks, Barry Bonds from 90 Fleer, Robin Ventura, uh, Mark McGuire, Mother's Cookies, and Matt Williams, Mother Cookie Card. So that's that. Oh, here's a, I'm sorry, here's a few more. I got the Tony Perez from 1970 Tops. I've also got Wade Boggs. From 86 tops, I Don Mattingly, Tony Gwynn, 85, and this pretty beat up uh, Rod Carew card from 1970 tops. Not sure why I had it in this sturdy of a case when the card itself was in pretty horrible shape, but you know, when you're a kid, um, before grading and all that stuff was around, you didn't really you know, have too clear of an idea on what stuff was really valued at. So there's those. Uh, got a couple more things to show. Got this recent, recently, uh, <laughs> this is pretty funny. This ended up being the uh, highest selling card uh, that has come out of the Tops Project 2020. I think there was around 99,000 uh, of these cards printed and it still stands to be the the most cards uh printed the, sh the highest print run of the whole um of the whole set so and a lot of people look at this and think it's like child art and i i i, I actually really like it to me it has like a i don't know it's going to be a classic card in the years to come because it's always going to be remembered as the highest selling card during this crazy time of the project 2020 when at one point people were going nuts and the value of the cards was up in the thousands and then a couple of weeks later dropped down like <laughs> a very very uh it, it just <laughs> the prices just dropped very considerably all right well to to, to end this things off I'm going to share a couple of these uh, baseballs that I had signed back in the 80s. This first one is actually uh, the guy that I worked for at a card shop when I was about 13 years old. Ended up going to one of those fantasy camps for the Giants and uh, hooked me up with this ball that has a bunch of the old players from the 70s and stuff uh, from the Giants. So here we have Jimmy Ray Hart, Ed Bailey. Over here, we got Chris Arnold. We got John Montefusco, Willie Sa Sadler, Tom Haller, and some idiot that I knew when I was younger decided to be funny and write his name on there. 
And as you can see, I tried to rub it off to no avail. And the final and probably most important signature on this ball is the Mike McCormick. So that's pretty cool. was pretty happy to see when I found that in a box that it was still around after all these years. And I was even more excited to see that this bad boy was still around after all these years. This ball I got personally signed at the Moscone Center back in the 80s. It must have been 1988. Uh, my mom took me there on my birthday and uh, got to meet Willie Mays in person. And uh, it was pretty awesome. So this was signed in person by Willie Mays. I, you know, we went and bought the official ball and everything and waited in line and got to meet the guy. And I also that day got to meet uh, Will Clark. And I believe I also met Daryl Strawberry. So it was a pretty great birthday to say the least. So there we have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if there's any of these cards that you saw during this video that you might be interested in, you know, possibly doing a trade or wanting to purchase or anything like that, go ahead and uh, leave a comment and let me know. We'll see what we can work out. Well, thanks as always for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, until next time, take it easy, guys. Peace.